This is something I've been looking forward to going into the, oh my goodness, greenhouse. Look at all this. It's nice and warm These in here too. These are plants that need to go out somewhere in the garden. And they're plants I grew from seed. A lot of shade natives here. Um, this is tall bellflower. Uh, this is a big weed aster. I have a little hepatica. I, these are, when I dug the edges off of the bee balm, instead of throwing them away, I planted them. So I have plants to take to the Hollow Nature Center where I volunteer. Wow. Here's, watch out for the holes. Um, here's the geranium. <laughs> I planted some in here. I'm going to give them to the Hollow Nature Center, so it's getting ready to bloom. Uh, all my orchids, by the way, are behind here. But they stay here. Wow. I don't have many. This used to be all orchids in here, and now I'm down to just those. This whole place is orchids. My, that's amazing. So, and then here's some of the... Um, trilliums. I got a bunch of different trilliums. I've got doll's eyes, may apples. The trilliums are starting to bloom. Ferns. Wow. There's a lot of plants here. Lots of variety. Yeah. I just got these in the mail, but they, <laughs> they, uh, were kind of all broken off. And these are my Virginia bluebells. I really wanted Virginia bluebells in my shade garden. So these are the sweet joe pie weed. They grow in the shade. Shade to part shade. Um, we've got calico beard's tongue, swamp golden rod, uh, the hairy wood mint. So here's another member of the mint family. <laughs> um, hairy beard tongue. These are coleus. Now behind you here, I have more natives. Um, these are cone flowers, some more cone flowers. Again, some of them are for the nature center. This is my batch of parsley that I'm going to put out there, see if I can draw some caterpillars for the black swallowtail. Um, this is prairie cone flower, and it's really, really pretty. It's got a taller cone in the center, and the yellow petals droop down. Um, this is my swamp milkweed that I've been growing. Now those are mostly coleus out there. I take my coleus back out and plant it. Wow. These are some things I did for the Brighton Garden Club. They're going to sell them this weekend. Um, this is the parsley. There's three things of parsley here and the parsley is the host or host plant for the black swallowtail and the zinnias are nectar plants for the black swallowtail. So wow. you get three nectar plants, three host plants. Um, oh, that's to sell. You know, Michigan Garden Clubs is trying to promote the black swallowtail. So. That's really nice. That's awesome. And this is my um, this, this one here. This is the honeysuckle. This is what's going on that Ooh, I'm excited for this one. And the clematis is, is over in the corner there and back that way. <laughs> Love honeysuckles. This is another set of those trays for the Brighton Garden Club. And then I'm also going to give them <clears throat> these here. The calendula. These are some of the red, um, the scarlet bee balm. And you notice they get kind of spindly in here is because I built this greenhouse for orchids and the orchids that I grew like a shade here, they grow under the forest canopy. Mm -hmm. So I have a white roof and uh, a lot of shade cloth so they don't get as much sun as other places do. So and then here's some of the sunflowers. Um, I've got some false sunflower. I've got some cut leaf cornflower that I'm growing from seed. Um, this is Mexican hat flower, and then some of the rest there. This is the butterfly weed. That's what it looks like when it's grown earlier. And then some of these I've been buying already, so I've been out to the garden centers. <laughs> <laughs> so the, these are the um, I tixie. love tick seed. Love tick seed. They so, bloom all summer, mm -hmm. and I 
I'm so excited about mine coming back. Well, this greenhouse is amazing. Thank you.